Why hello, and welcome back to my 4K sample series on Viva Pinata running on an Xbox One X in 4K. This is part four of this, what should be a four part video series on this game. Uh, and yeah, what I, in my previous video, I unlocked the ability to dig ponds. So that's what I'm going to spend some time doing, and maybe we can get some water type Pokemon, I mean Pinata, into our garden. So yeah, let's get back into it, and let's get going here. As you can see, I've grown a tree, an apple tree, and I've gotten a few more pinata types, including I've managed to tame the sour shellberry. Where is it? Here it is. Shelly bean. Excuse me. Now I'm going to go ahead and start digging. I think this corner around here would be a nice spot to put a pond, don't you think? Let's start digging. A nice square-shaped pond. How's that sound? Maybe we'll put a little island in the middle of it. We'll leave a little island in it. Now, what you can actually do is you can actually have multiple gardens going at once. So you can have gardens dedicated to different types of pinata. Like you can have one that's dedicated to water, another one that's dedicated to like trees and plants and such. A little peninsula might be the way to do it. Especially considering there's already animals getting in the way. Nougat. A salamander of some kind. I've been wanting to feature this game for a while. This has been one of my most desired games to get an Xbox One X enhancement patch. It's taken me way too long to get to this point. But I'm here. So instead of dwelling on lost time and doing this, how about if I just enjoy the time I'm spending doing it now? Dwelling usually doesn't serve me all that well. I like to dig this as deep as I can. So far, so good. This would be a very difficult game to try to do a daily long play of. Not that it wouldn't be a relaxing, enjoyable experience. It's just... Hey, look, a fudge hog. It's a hedgehog made of fudge. Doesn't really look like a hedgehog, though. It looks like a... Porcupine, or I don't know. Look, there's a fudge hog. He likes thistles and worms. So if you have enough of either, he will show up. I don't have that many worms, and I don't have any thistles at all, so I don't know what's up with that. I can also use this shovel to fill the pond. Perhaps I should have made, dug this in such a way that it. Uh, that the pond went around the tree. Oh wow. This works. Probably want more water to get more water pinata show up. I also want a nice 
nice big thing in the middle. What happened there? Badge sickle. Is that a badger? I think so. Good enough for other nocturnal pinyasa to stay, then it might just be good enough for a bicycle. Alright. Hey, look, I dug up some money. I'll take that. Alright, we want to smash this thing. Oh, we want to smash it. Alright. Not tap it. Okay. Guess I didn't need to sw switch back. Uh, it's just, I use the same shovel for digging that I do for smashing. be another sour one of those things that have arrived. I thought the tower improvement I got would prevent that. I don't know. There's a lot I don't really remember about this game. this will be enough water. This is a nice relaxing game at the moment. From what I remember, this game can get pretty stressful though. Much more stressful than you expect from a game with this kind of colorful, kid-friendly aesthetic. I don't ever remember it being all that stressed myself. Maybe because this pales in comparison to games like uh, Civilization and StarCraft, which I played a lot of back in the day. I don't know. I did spend a lot of time playing this, though. And it was a while ago, so maybe I'm just not remembering. Look at that. That's a nice deep pond. Oh, look, it's raining again. I should sell some of this stuff. Get some money. So how does this look? What do you think of my garden here? I think it's a nice start to something. The valve is turning there for some reason. I wonder if that has something to do with Half-Life 3. <laughs> no, that's a bad joke. Bad joke. And look, we have six apples here. How do I, will those just fall on their own or do I have to knock them down? I don't know. There's a blimp up there.
Ah, these things like to trample on stuff, don't they? There's a quackleberry. Or quackberry, excuse me. Quack. <laughs> I'm hoping other water type pinata show up as well. There's this, uh, there are requirements for how much of your what percentage of your garden uh, how what percent of your of your garden is water for some type of pinata to show up and become residents and such and until this quackberry decides to wander in I'm not gonna be able to know what that requirement is it's parked right next to the toad which is also attracted to potential of water is that actually coming in it looks like it Let's see what its requirement is. I have enough water. It just needs to eat oh, one of my flies. All right. And now it's running away. It's running far away. I say something to offend it? There's the raisin ant. The raisin ant, excuse me. No, wait, no, that's the arachnid. Where's the raisin ant? Where's the raisin ant? There it is. It's also just sort of hanging around on hanging out on the edge of it. On that deer and that squirrel. I don't even see them. It's another snake. Another flutter scotch. See, working on my garden or just watching it, I guess. Like I said, there's a whole lot of waiting involved in this game. Which makes it kind of hard to do a shorter video series on. Hence why I'm doing a four-parter, where I'd usually only do a two. I don't know how much money I have. I don't have enough money to buy that a house. At least I don't think. Let's take a look. My first customer of the day. Maybe I should start getting up early. Uh. I mean, I want a Pretz tail home, but I don't have enough of that. Uh. Shelly bean home. Uh. Maybe I should build a taffy home or a serpent home. I have enough of one of those, but I don't want to get the fox home. Probably won't be able to do that here, though. spot to place a home would be right here which means I probably have to sell some of these flowers
I think I should add more water. Not exactly getting much in the way of um, water based pinatas even visiting, let alone none of them have actually moved in. Is this ant coming in? Looks like it. Yay! Has eaten three fruit of any kind. Alright, well... I think we should, uh... Look at that. Let's see if we'll get it to eat the fruit. Is it going to go near where it needs to? So let it eat three of them and then we'll sell the other three. How's that sound? Ah. Can't direct that thing until it's a resident. It's not going to be a resident until it eats these fruit things. Come on. Nope. Come on, buddy. Alright. Should start growing more apples eventually. I'll say it, it wasn't daytime very long. Maybe it's just raining all day. Well, I think I'm going to try to build a um, one of those houses. Even if it's not ideal, at least it's something. Of course I am. Let's build a uh, serpent. Ooh, that's bigger than um. There we go. It barely fits. Where's the guy? There he is. He's got a hammer on his head. That doesn't that didn't take long now, did it? Reveal building. Now yeah, look at that. The snake goes in the snake's going to the snake's mouth. That's a bit odd, but okay.
yeah. I could spend hours and hours, countless hours, playing this game, just working on this one garden. You know how addictive, addicting this game is. It's actually very easy to do just that. If only I didn't have such things as jobs and a life to dedicate to something like this. I probably would do that, but unfortunately, being kind of an adult, uh, I don't get that chance. I've already set my um, game for my next daily long play stream. That's going to be um, The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. So look forward to that starting Sunday. This is coming Sunday, the 20... Was it the 23rd? Yeah, the 23rd of February. Uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll start a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. Let's turn this into an island then, get a little more water. A lot of money there. Wow, look at that. And look, I have enough money to build the thing I wanted to build. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space for which to build it on. Oh, look at that. More money. Wow. I hit the jackpot there. If I don't, if I do say so myself, and of course I do. Hey, look. That quackberry almost went into the garden. I wonder what's keeping it out. Is there not enough water here? Hmm. Turn this into more of a square-shaped island, so I can get more water. I have no idea what the residency requirement for this uh, duck is, because it I can't even highlight it until it's within the boundaries of my um, of my garden. Is that B? Probably wants more flowers, doesn't it? Okay, it's a squirrel. Is it going to enter? Nope. It's drinking water anyway. Sleepy thing here. There's that deer. Showed up very early in this video series. And it's just sort of um, hanging out the outskirts of my area here. Just, just barely out of reach. Nice reflections there in the water. Show a little more of the background here. Now it's daytime. Nice slow panning shot. 
But yeah, I like this game. I've enjoyed the roughly two hours I've spent today playing it. Nice trip down memory lane. A relaxing one, too. I hope you enjoyed it, dear viewer there. And maybe, who knows, maybe this has inspired you to go out and pick up a copy of this game. It is available, either dirt cheap, a used physical copy of it for the 360, and it's also, better yet, part of Rare Replay Collection, which if you have an Xbox One, I'd highly recommend picking that up. It was 30 bucks new, comes with 30 classic games from Rare, including titles like Viva Pinata. And yeah, you can probably buy a physical copy of that a lot cheaper than $30 at a local used game store. But I'd highly recommend that collection, if only for the two Viva Pinata games. I think it's worth it just for that. Easily get dozens of hours out of each of them. Hey, look. It's about to eat one of these flies. I'm going to actually sell these. It's still going to become a resident because it still counts as eating it, but... Yeah, and we got some extra money. Look at that, we got our first water pinata here. Cool. Have a mystery requirement there. But yeah, I think that's gonna just about do it here for this series of mine. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and my videos. Just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And starting this coming Sunday, February the 24th, the 23rd, uh, Sunday, February 23rd, 2020, I'm going to start my daily long play of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on HD on the Wii U. See here I do a retro stream on Monday night at 8 p.m. A modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Again, those are both Eastern Standard Times. Retro Monday and Modern Wednesday, I call them. And I do occasional, and I do 4K and or HDR uploads typically on Friday. On Friday, but they usually um, publish on Saturday. Well, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. This has been Viva Pinata, running on an Xbox One X in 4K. It's an awesome game. You should get it if you have an Xbox One, an Xbox 360, or a PC. You should get this game. I think you'll enjoy it, regardless of whatever kind of game you're in, too. Well, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you back here 11 a.m. sharp on Sunday. For The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD running on the Wii U. And until then, take it easy.